this video we're going to be looking into the uh, recent outrage, well on the internet anyway, of course everyone's going to be outraged on the internet because it's full of retards, but it is an open platform unfortunately so we have to deal with this sort of shit. This is coming from Vice, of course coming from Vice, the far left, um, very rapey, very rapey um, organisation. Um, Vice, uh, basically about Jeannie Oliver culturally appropriating jerk rice, so let's go straight into this. Uh, Jamie Oliver released a jerk rice product and people are not happy. Levi Roots and MP Dawn Butler have called out the dish for being offensive. A dish can't be offensive. It can't be. It can't be offensive. I don't know how, how, how pathetic your life must be when you're outraged by Jamie Oliver's punchy jerk rice. I was more outraged when he tried to ban um, Turkey Twizzlers, even though I don't really eat Turkey Twizzlers because I knew what it was made of. Like, you know, that sort of meat doesn't come off a of turkey naturally, does it? Like, this spiral fucking shit. But I remember eating it when I was last younger, it was very nice, but Jamie Oliver's little prick, he keeps getting things banned because they're unhealthy. I'm libertarian, just let them fucking be unhealthy. Another day, another totally insensitive <laughs> culinary move from British celebrity chef Jamie Oliver. No, he hasn't murdered a bunch of poor people in the net. If, it's, if he's murdering poor people, it's worse, worse, if he, worse if he just murders rich people, apparently. That's because, um, by the communists. In the natural hunch of sugar to campaign for higher tax regulation, but instead unveiled a new food product that manages to be both culturally appropriative and inaccurate. Who cares? Really, Bice, who cares? Jerk rice. Oliver's Punchy Jerk Rice, a microwavable rice pack made with whole grain rice and aubergines, oh, fuck it, ain't aubergines are horrible. was released in supermarkets earlier this week. The instant meal is being criticised as an inauthentic rendering of Caribbean rice dishes that traditionally feature allspice and kidney beans. It's his take on it. It's his take on it. Who cares? Who cares? Why are you writing about this? Why am I even doing a video about this? I don't know. I was going to do a video about this, um... Japanese guy who um, whips um, cloths off his penis, but this came up, so I have to do it. The instant meal is being criticised. Where did I get to? Can, uh, kidney beans. Caribbean jerk sauce or marinade is most commonly made with Scotch bonnet chilies. I think, I think that's really hot, Scotch bonnet. It's not like, um, what's it, the, the Buddha or chocolate babu or whatever it's called. Uh, garlic and ginger, and used to and used to marinate meat like chicken or pork before being cooked over a barbecue. It's, it's just like a quick sort of like on your lunch, bish bash bosh done. You know, tear it, tear it, tear it a bit at the top, stick it in the microwave. Done, easy. It wasn't long before outrage erupted over Oliver's uh, creative interpretation. Labour MP, oh, it's going to be Labour MP. They put they always put diversity over common sense. That's why they're not going to win. Dawn Butler was first to critique jerk rice, asking the chef on Twitter, I'm just wondering, do you know what Jamaican jerk actually is? Don't know, I'm just Jim I don't know, Paka Taka. And stating that this appropriation of Jamaica needs to stop. Shut up. I mean, you know, Dawn Butler, which is a classic Jamaican name. Others have accused the product of appropriating the term jerk with a... <laughs> isn't isn't the word jerk like an American term for like a wanker or something? with a uh, creation that differs from the traditional Caribbean recipe, originating from escaped African slaves in Jamaica. In a debate on Good Morning Britain this week, Chef Rusty Lee said that jerk originated from Jamaica and they would be offended by this. I don't care. No one cares if you're offended. Only people who can be offended are lefties who just pretend to be um, you know, offended for you just to get um, attention on Facebook because they don't really have any talent or marketable skills. That's why they're all poor and stupid. It's an insult because jerk is from the Caribbean, and and uh, and as much as I love Jamie, you don't love him. You don't fucking know him. The point is, it's getting onto a bandwagon to say it's Caribbean. It's taken away from us. It's not yours. It's not yours. Oh, I'm English, right? Fish and chips aren't mine. Like I, my my the fish and chip shop where I get my Donny meat and chips. I think they're like Turks or something. They're definitely not fucking English. I should go down there and start kicking off a fuss because they're appropriating my culture. Wankers. Is there another bird going to be taken away from us? She continued, adding that the jerk part of his barbecue and you can't barbecue rice. No one cares! 
cook and entrepreneur, leave thy roots, weave thy roots, reggae, reggae sauce, leave thy roots, who has collaborated with Oliver, also spoke about the product on Good Morning Brewing, calling it a mistake. Well, he's probably done it a bit wrong. We'll, we'll find out eventually. If it's not, I might actually buy it. Is, is this the new symbol of the right? Is it? This is new some people are right. I reckon, I re this is free publicity for Jamie Oliver. No one would give a fuck in last night. This is free publicity. No publicity, it's free publicity. Unless it's a rape scandal, your name's Harvey Weinstein. However, not all chefs share, share this outrage. Gordon McGowan, owner of Caribbean restaurant Buster Mantis, and recently opened bar Stockton, both in South East London, told Munchies over an email that he was a bit bemused by the uproar, to be honest. That's because he's a hard-working man and ain't got time for your shit. With its co colonial past, modern Jamaican culture and consequently modern Jamaican food is in itself a fusion. It's the product of generations of people who have had no choice but to be influenced by diverse sources um, sort of also, sources, blah, the world over, for better or for worse, he explained. Our food and our culture will always evolve and in doing so you will inevitably have people at home and abroad trying new things with it. I think I read somewhere that... Um, I'm not sure if it's true. The um, chicken tikka masala is actually a British dish. I think it was like tikka masala, but the guy was like, oh, add some fucking chicken to it. So they added chicken to it. So I think technically, chicken tikka masala is a British dish. But don't um, quote me on that. Uh, where do I get them? Personally, um, it's one of the things. Personally, I find it flattering, if anything. Well, you know, he's not offended because, you know, he's not a twat. McGowan did concede, however, that he doesn't particularly want to eat Oliver's price product. I don't, I don't really eat Jamie Oliver's shit, because he's got a bit of a list, but he might have got spit in my food. Munchies reached out to Jamie Oliver's team to uh, for comment, but had not received a response at the time of publishing. Why, why do you respond to anything that Vice sends you, seriously? While it seems to be a sticky subject for Jamie, in 2014, the chef became boiled in... What the fuck does that say? Jolo for gate. Why do you, anyone keeps putting gate on the end of things as, as if it's a scandal? Just put gate on the end of it. After showing a recipe on his website for the West African dish jollof rice, his recipe was similarly accused of diverging from the traditional recipe. It's his take on it. Who cares? This is chef. No, it is, no one cares. Why am I even doing a video on this? I don't care. After it called for coriander. Coriander tastes like um, washing up liquor anyway. I don't like coriander. Parsley and a lemon wedge. Ingredients not often associated with the dish. What's next? Rice and peas with actual garden peas? <laughs> oh, munchies, you crap me up. Anyway, um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'll, I'll be looking at the sales of this closely. I will probably buy a few packs for lunch and fuck everyone off. I probably won't actually. I'll see McDonald's, which is American, American culture. Actually, I don't think McDonald's is. I think like hamburgers are recently from like Italy or something. Who gives a shit? It's just ground up beer, beer cow anyway. Slap them two two buns. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video, and uh, see you next time. Uh, hopefully, it'll be about a um, Japanese man whipping cloth with his penis. Goodbye.